Do you have any of these vintage items in your attic? They might be worth a fortune today. Hello, I am Wade and welcome to Watch Zozo. The next time you pay your attic a visit, take a look around at all the stuff that's up there. You never know what you'll find or what has increased in value over the years. So check out this list of items that might be worth a ton of money today. It will at least motivate you to head up to your attic right away and do some early spring cleaning. Samantha was one of the original American Girl dolls, and if you're willing to part with your old childhood doll, you can get as much as $600 to about $3,300 for her. But make sure she's in good condition and still has her original clothes and accessories. You might find a box full of Christmas ornaments that your family has collected over the years. While the material these fragile ornaments are made of, like hand-blown glass, can be very valuable. Some of them can go for $1,700, while others, like the German pear-shaped Kugel ornament, can be worth $18,000. But this next gift you might have gotten under the tree is worth some money, too. Those vinyl records your parents or grandparents placed in a box could be very valuable now. According to the Reverb LP Marketplace, the 1957 Elvis Christmas album is worth about $149. So, who's to say you don't have a fortune in vinyl records just sitting in your attic? But look for the machine that plays it too, you won't regret it. If you happen to find a full set of hand-blown mill glass eggs in your parents' attic, don't turn them into an Easter centerpiece during springtime. A full set of undamaged eggs can earn you about $775. But that's not the only holiday decor that has increased in value over the years. This next item won't have any cookies, but you can buy some after you sell it. If you find your grandmother's Uncle Mistletoe Marshall Fields cookie jar from the 1940s or 1950s in a box somewhere, then you're in luck. It can sell for about $1,200. You can earn up to $500 if the cookie jar comes in the shape of a popular cartoon figure. But if you can't find a cookie jar, then look for other vintage memorabilia. You thought your mom threw them out. Then you went up to the attic and found your old lunchbox. Well, that's good news, because all those vintage lunchboxes from the Beatles, the Jetsons, and other popular characters and artists are worth up to $3,100. And if anyone in your family was into costumes, then look for this next valuable item. Men's watches, particularly the ones with features like moon phases, stopwatch functions, gold or platinum details, and day and time are very valuable because people collect them. They're even more expensive if they have jewels on them or come from brand names like Rolex, Patek Philippe, Movado, Vacheron Constantin, or Le Coulter. But an item that's seen a lot of foot traffic can make you rich too. The value of Persian rugs increase with time. So, if you happen to find your grandparents' Persian rugs rolled away in the attic, you could earn $1 million. The cost is calculated based on the size, material, condition, and design, much like this next musical instrument. Perhaps your dad gave up on his dream to become a rock star, but that Gibson Les Paul or vintage Fender guitar he stowed away in the attic can be sold for hundreds or possibly even thousands on sites like Reverb. But this next item you might have stashed away in the attic could have you quacking all the way to the bank. Hand card duck decoys were very popular in the 20th century and now they become a rare commodity. So if you happen to find one in the corner of your attic, you could earn as much as $650,000 at an auction. That's a lot more than what you could earn for the following retro piece of furniture. Your parents may have stuck their 80s and 90s furniture in the attic to give their home a much needed makeover. But now it's time to dust that furniture off and sell it because people feeling nostalgic about the 80s and 90s are willing to pay hundreds or even thousands for your old furniture, but probably not as much as they'd pay for antique tools. Vintage tools are worth a lot of cash, especially the ones that have detailed designs, such as ivory-handled or engraved casting wrenches. Those can go for thousands of dollars at auctions. And a limited-edition John Deere wrench can earn you up to $16,500. But you might earn more if you have this next collectible 90s item. Beanie Babies were highly collectible in the 1990s. But if you happen to find a box full of them, you can earn up to $500,000, especially if they're in mint condition 
and have the tag still attached. Who knew that holding on to your childhood memories could be so profitable? But if you happen to find a first edition copy of this book, then get ready to rake up some serious money. John Linden, the lead designer at Miracoop, claims that collectors will pay a lot for first edition copies of vintage books. A first edition copy of James Joyce's Ulysses can sell for $8,000. But if you want to be really rich, then look for your baseball cards. The older the baseball card, the more valuable it is. But the price will vary based on the player, the year, and its condition. So if you find your old baseball cards in the attic, get them appraised. Your collection could be worth about $3.2 million. But you might be able to pay your light bill if you find this next item stashed away in the house. If you happen to find the turntable where those vinyl records were played, you should check out eBay or Reverb to see how much they're selling for. Some of them go for as much as $300 or more. And while you're in the attic, check out the condition of that old rocking chair. A lot of Windsor-style rod-back chairs were made during the 1820s and came from the New England area. This makes them antiques. And while they won't exactly make you rich, you can still sell them for $150 a piece, which is much more than you'd get for them at a yard sale. But check out this next item that is worth more if you sell it than if you decide to wear it. Those retro vintage t-shirts you bought long ago can earn you some serious cash now. Rain Hirsch, an appraise on PBS, Antiques Roadshow claims a 1990s Mario Brothers Nintendo 64 game t-shirt was worth $150, and a Prince t-shirt on Poshmark sold for $380, but this next item will have you reliving your childhood. Rare copies of comic books can be worth several million dollars. So if you find yourself strapped for cash, then head on up to the attic and find your old comic books. And no worry if you don't have any rare copies. Even regular comics can earn you hundreds. But this vintage office tool is also worth something if you're strapped for cash. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support.